it's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so Tony of Gearbest asked me if I would do another video featuring the GPD Pocket since it's such a cool piece of kit. But uh, my main review having been like 50 minutes long, I really didn't know what else I'd got to say on the subject, apart from I really like it. So, uh, well, I just thought I'd do a, a, a gameplay video because when I did my main review, I didn't do what... What's going on? I didn't do um, something I like to do, which is uh, a Grand Theft Auto V clip to show how well or otherwise it plays that. Because I sort of I, I have games and emulators and bits of software that I like to use just to demonstrate how well a system is running. And for PC-based stuff, I like to try Grand Theft Auto V. Um, I didn't get around to it then, or rather, I I just didn't do it because there wasn't enough storage on the internal um, solid-state hard drive thingamajig on the GPD Pocket, but. Uh, I can't remember who it was. It, it was suggested by an, another user who had done their own review um, use an external hard drive. So here we are. I've got a, a Western Digital. I can't remember what kind of thing it is. But anyway, it's a USB Western Digital external hard drive hooked up. And I've installed the game to that. And as you can see, it works. Um, it doesn't work especially well. Um, the frame rate is uh, to a hardcore gamer this would be classified as unplayable but to someone who just wants to prat about and maybe not worry about the storyline and just wants to wander around yeah it will run it um, it's, it's on a par with the GPD win really um, actually if you run it in a window instead of full screen well, firstly, it's a very small window, which makes it kind of comical, but it does run it at a, a fairly respectable frame rate, actually. But that's not really great for recording a video like this. It would, it, it, it's kind of silly. Um, so I'm running in 800 by 600 screen resolution. Uh, minimum settings on absolutely everything you can set them minimum as. And, you know, it works. You can prat about. And I do love pratting about on this. Like, when, when I'm playing, or when I'm testing Android systems, I always load up Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, if it'll work, or um, Vice City, if San Andreas won't work. Because Vice City seems a bit more stable. It doesn't get the graphical glitching that you get on some systems. So, yeah, I, I, I do those on Android. And on Windows, I tried this, and it's crazy. I have got I've got three versions of this. I I it was she didn't mean to. Uh, whoops, that was an accident as well. Um, yeah, I first played Grand An Gra uh, God words Grand Theft Auto Five on the PS3, and then I bought it on the PC for testing purposes my main gaming PC which is by no means an impressive piece of kit the, the graphics card is uh, what is it? it's an NVIDIA 5 no, 7, 750 T, yeah, it's a GT is it GTX 750 Ti something like this, it's not a bleeding car um or motorbike, uh, eight gigs of RAM and some kind of twin core, three point two gigahertz CPU. That's uh, it's some kind of Pentium thing, but I'm not sure what. Anyway, it it won't run it. But I think that's actually more to do with the uh, the screen mode I have to run in because I'm my display is a TV that won't run at 1080p and in 1080i it's just appalling. Anyway, the, the screen mode I run it's just not having any of it. Excuse me a moment. I gotta take a Gaviscon. I'm either having a heart attack or I've got really bad heartburn here. It will be the latter. 
Back in a moment. Sorry about that. I am back. Wow. To a Meprazole a day and I still get heartburn. Ha. Oh. Hmm. Where was I? Yeah, so my, uh, my main gaming PC setup doesn't want to play this. Um, and then I got it on the PS4, which is the, the system I'm playing it mostly on these days and I love it. I've actually got further on the PS4 Oops. in the past couple of months than I did on the PS3 in several years. Mainly because I'm playing the storyline instead of just asking about because that is that's a main part of the appeal of this game. Arsing about. Kind of like I'm doing at the moment. But generally I will steal a car, or borrow one, something like that, and uh, drive around with the radio on and just listen to the radio until I find something, you know, a jump. I do like doing the jumps, jump over something silly, jump onto something silly. You know, cars on roofs, that's a thing. And the... Uh, the little side mission, you know, where the, the pedestrian has been robbed and you've got to chase down the thief or, or the car thieves or whatever. Kill the robbers, capture the, well, retrieve the stolen purse. I, I do a lot of that. But, uh, that's what I'm twatting about. But at, at the moment on the PS4, I am, I am doing the mission. I'm trying to get through the storyline. I'm trying to remember where I'm up to at the moment. I just shot down an aeroplane with a whopping great big gun on a hillside. That's about where I'm up to at the moment. So yeah, on here, on, on the GPD pocket, it is... I mean, it, it, it is slow. The frame rate is not great. But it's actually, it's running better than it did on um, that Apollo Lake laptop that I tested not so long ago. What was that, the Chewy 12.3, 12.5, something or other. It's running better than that, you, you couldn't really run it on that. The frame rate on there was okay, but then it would stop and stutter and stuff. And it was suggested that that was a storage thing. But I don't think it was, because here I am running on a USB 2 hard drive. Um, or rather it's USB 3, but I'm running it through a USB 2 hub. Uh, I've got to have the hub because I've got p power for the GPD pocket running in on the USB-C. And I need two USB ports, one for the hard drive and one for the joypad. So I'm using a USB 2 hub. So, hard drive coming in on that. Storage is slow, and we're not getting the stuttering that we got on, on the Apollo Lake thing. So that, I think, was thermal throttling. Because it was getting hot. Uh, this thing, I'm not actually holding it, so I don't know how hot it is. But unlike that Apollo Lake laptop, this thing has a fan. So it doesn't seem to be a... Pro Let's just... Yeah. I'm, I'm putting my finger just in front of the vent and it's like a small fan heater. There's a good bit of heat coming out of there. I could be running this in uh, in the summer house that is now in our garden. I'm going to be doing a video about that. You might have seen it on the uh, unboxing video I uploaded yesterday. Uh, might be a couple of days ago by the time this video gets up. But anyway, yes, we've got a summer house. And... Uh, you could probably run this in there and heat the whole room, maybe. Probably not, I'm exaggerating, but I am inclined to exaggerate, sometimes. Damn, that is way yeah, get out of my way, what's that? Alien couch. 
I wouldn't mind one of them. Hello? Hey, up, get off me, you. That, yeah, that is some crazy shit. I'm going to probably get beaten up by you. Whoa, missed. As you can see, I'm really good at fighting. Not so much. Now get run over. Go on, you lay down there and we'll wait for a car to come along. It's no place for a nap. Yeah, so it... it it feels like the whole game is running slow. I mean, the frame rate isn't great. But... It's, it's hard to say. Is everything going slow as well as being a little bit stuttery? I am not sure. But that feels kind of slow. But, uh, you know, I don't care. I like asking about, and the fact that you can ask about on here is good. But, that I mean, this is really by the by. I mean, the... the the GPD Pocket is not designed for gaming. The fact that it will, that, that Grand Theft Auto 5 will run on here at a barely playable rate is neither here nor there. That, that it is consistent, I find pleasing. It doesn't like go quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, stuttering and choking and throttling and stuff. What you see here is how it runs all the time. I, I got through the first missions without having to restart and restart because I was hindered. Um, you can play it. it. It's not really how you would get the best experience, but it's doable. But all, you know, that is by the by. It's not what this thing was designed for. It's I'm just doing it now as a... Uh, giving the GPD pocket some screen time and, and an opportunity really to talk about it a little bit more. That, that There's not a whole lot I can say about it, except I since doing my initial review of this, I now find myself using it every day. It is my go-to device. If I'm not sitting at my computer in the study, which is the room we're in now, um, if I'm in the living room, this is what I'm using. If I'm if I'm wanting computing in the summer house, this is what I'm using. Um, because it is so... The form factor is so utterly convenient. Carting a laptop around... Well, they're big. And don't fit in your pocket or just... You know, not really in your hand. You, you, you got to use both hands to pick the thing up and maybe cart it around. Does it? You know what I mean? They're kind of awkward. Um, this is just like pick it up and go. So I use it a lot, and it is that two-way thing where if I'm using a tablet, I'm not responding to stuff on, say, comments. And also I found for, for comments, replying to comments on YouTube, the apps on Android actually aren't great, um, apart from the fact that I hate typing on a touchscreen. Um, what is it? Creator Studio app that I use for, uh, for responding, or rather for reading comments. It doesn't necessarily always show you all of the comments. If there's a thread, it kind of doesn't show them sometimes. You'll get the first comment and you reply to that and maybe someone else will reply to that or the uh, first, the initial poster will leave another comment and it doesn't always show them and that's a pain in the ass. where if you go to the YouTube page on a browser on Windows or whatever, you see the whole thread and you can kind of keep going where on Android you can't. So this is really good for that. Um, and it's it's a pain in the ass to have to come up into the study just to reply to uh, or, or keep up to date with the thread of comments and stuff. So th this the GPD Pocket I use a lot for that kind of thing. And Twitter and Facebook. I don't even do Facebook on Android at all. I totally refuse to install a Facebook Android app on any Android device that I use because it's a battery killer. It just hammers the batteries. 
uh, it's intrusive it's I hate it I won't touch it I don't like Facebook but I just use it because everyone's on it and it's a way of keeping in touch with people uh, personally though I'm, I, I favor Twitter much much more but Twitter takes a certain amount of uh, what should we call it you have to put a bit of thought in to get your message across in 140 characters and some people are really good at that and some people aren't and and some people will leave a long string of like tweet after tweet after tweet after tweet and I'm like no 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 that's not how you do it um, but I guess if, if a person's got a really big message with lots of details well that's what they're gonna do and whatever but I just think that's not what Twitter's for though uh, you can certainly do a lot more than just tell people what you had for breakfast I'm totally getting off the point if there ever was one <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about I don't know where I'm going you can see my reflection in the screen then this is not I mean you might wonder why the hell am I why am I displaying it like this why haven't I zoomed in on the screen well the whole point is to show the game is running on the GPD pocket um, I'm going to steal a car. Why not? We'll just take this because, you know, what more glamorous than a, an estate car? Okay. Bit, no, get off. Bit of editing. Edited the audio there just to get rid of the radio. I couldn't remember what the control was to get rid of it. So here we are in a car for no apparent reason other than I'm twatting about. Let's go for a drive. Forgotten what I was saying, don't think it matters. Remind me. Use A to duck while in a vehicle. I'm not going to do that. We're not we're not in a gunfight. I'm just driving because sometimes it's fun to just drive I don't really do that these days in fact I haven't really done that since I passed my driving test way back when I was a teen and I rode motorbikes never a big motorbike uh, my, my biggest bike was only ever a 125 so you know small stuff but um, I used to just ride for the fun of it uh, mostly like well, in Milton Keynes, it was not a particularly exciting place, but um, the back roads around all the villages around Milton Keynes, like into Buckinghamshire and Northamptonshire, I, ooh, I knew those back roads like the back of my hand. A lot of them are gone now. It's like that. There was a, ra a way around the back to a place called. Uh, Shenley and it was a little village sort of in the middle of nowhere really a few miles just off of the the A5 Watling Street it was kind of around the back of that and um, years later when I was into my 20s I lived in a, a different part of Milton Keynes and I, I was out cycling and I was cycling around the estates and I, I didn't know that part of the town really well and uh, I found myself walking from one housing estate to another and all of a sudden realized the housing estate I was in within this housing estate was the little village Shenley Brook End that I had known as a village out in the middle of nowhere in my teens and, and the city had just like grown and swallowed it and here it was like, oh I don't know, a little gem within a big pile of ugh. I was very surprised, I forgot what the point I was making was, yes, 
the back roads that I used to know so well, kind of some of them not there anymore. It was weird though, very strange experience. Yeah, I used to ride for fun, and I, I how far out? I mean, I never rode great distances on, on a 125 and, and smaller stuff. I had an FS1E Yamaha, like one of the unrestricted ones. That It looked ridiculous. It had the full fairing, it had the racing seat, it had the Micron exhaust, it had an open carburetor, no air filter at all. And it would go up to about 62 mile an hour, which for what is technically a moped was quite ridiculous and amusing. And it handled like a pogo stick on a roller skate. But, and it had a really, really noisy Micron exhaust. And I would go tearing around the villages. Where the hell am I going? Tearing around the villages in the middle of the night. Um, yeah, I probably went, up, I'd stray about 30 miles out, perhaps. At most, probably more likely around 20. Just around the back roads. It was fun. And I, you know, I, I would do that at night, in the summer, sometimes even in the winter. Fog was scary, ice was scary. But I would just go out and ride at night, sometimes in the day, but more at night because there was less traffic and I didn't want to have to deal with traffic. Just for the fun of it. Kind of like I'm doing in this game here. Just here we are driving. And I don't do that now. Um, I am... Um, less comfortable driving a car than I was riding a motorbike. I don't think because I feel like I have less control. That's right yeah, that's exactly right, whatever he said. Um, I, I think it's actually more to do with the fact that if I make a mistake while riding a motorbike, the only person I'm likely to kill is myself, where if I make a mistake driving a car, I could very well kill someone else, and I don't want to do that, so I only drive when it's necessary. You know, there's got to be a practical reason for it. I don't do it just for the fun of it. Um, and I think it's... You have less room for... I mean, room for error. You could hit something in a car and, and just break your car, I guess. Where you hit something on a bike and you'll likely kill yourself. But... Yeah, also have a room for a margin of error on a bike in that it being that much smaller you can fit through gaps or through traffic in a way that you can't in a car. Um, it's, it's, it's a bit of a balancing act really, you know, in some ways it's more forgiving and in some ways it's more dangerous on a bike. Um, Yes, I always felt more comfortable on a bike. It was like an extension of me where a car, it's not. You're very, very much a separate thing from the car and it feels less, less directly, it, I feel less directly in control of a car than I do of a bike, whoops. Yeah, whatever. But there we go. That's just me going blah. None of that is... Um, what? What? So what if I'm on the wrong side of the road? I don't care. Uh, they don't seem to like it when you drive like an idiot. Seems reasonable. So, other things I can tell you. I don't know really. I've seen, uh, I saw a video of the GPD Pocket show, well, a link was left by a chap who, uh, he, he'd had, he'd got one and he was having problems where his, uh, when he turned on his Wi-Fi, his screen would flicker. And he did find another video of another chap who was having the same problem and it turned out that certain elements within the case were touching the case and it was causing interference and the solution was uh, put some tape, some insulating tape of some type 
over certain components so they no longer touch the shell and that cured the problem which is is good it's unfortunate that the problem occurred in the first place but it is curable i have had no such problems i have had no problems with this whatsoever i've also heard of some people who i don't really want to go in there reports of some people saying that their wi-fi connectivity range whatever is not great um, I've had no problem with that either. Uh, I can take this out in the summer house. We have a Wi-Fi extender because from our, our router it won't reach the summer house for any device. Oh, I'm still at the port. I don't really want to go into the port. It's not a fun place. Yeah, uh, it's like my phone. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, my phone, no tablet, anything on the normal in-the-house type Wi-Fi thing. It just won't reach. So we've got an extender which is plugged into the kitchen and sits in the window. And that reaches out there and um, this thing picks that up with no problem whatsoever. And here we are up in the office, study thing, call it what you like. And it's hooked up to the Wi-Fi and working just fine. Um, pretty much anywhere within this house the Wi-Fi reaches and uh, some, some I've had some Android devices which have had a little bit of trouble but this thing no, no problem at all nice and fast strong, strong reception not really a whole lot else I can say about it I I have had no issues whatsoever I mean things that I dislike about it or, or think uh, not ideal remain I wish there was a micro SD card the keyboard can be a little bit cramped under certain circumstances um, the, the whole keyboard the, the lack of a pound sign and the, the compromise like in terms of choosing a, a key map to use uh, those things remain but they don't change the fact that it is a really nice device to use if you have a use for a device like this it uh, it serves its intended purpose but that intended purpose is not one that everyone will have and it is expensive I don't know if the price will come down it would be nice but that's the way with a lot of tech isn't it? It, it if something is a bit special it tends to be expensive and, and the special about this is not its performance it's its size and for a lot of people that won't matter and for some people it actually is a big deal and is the whole purpose of having the thing but yeah here we are. What other things can I tell you? Relating to the GPD Pocket, not a lot. I've kind of said everything I've got to say about it. Um, other things coming up on this here channel. I am. T I, I went to a um, retro gaming market last week with Dave, to Dave as I know him uh, and I'm trying to remember his other retro replay replay retro something I, I forget the name that he uses because the one I remember him by is two Dave but anyway we we went to a Doncaster dome where they had a retro gaming market and it was cool and, and we met some people um, bumped into Gemma the Gebs 24 bumped in to Two t oh God, Tutti UK Stuart, and I I bought a um, God, I didn't realise at the time he was selling, so that there's this stall and a chap on the stall and I goes to buy this plug and play and it turns out actually it's Stuart's stall and <laughs> he was selling it so anyway I I bought this plug and play off of him and another plug and play a, a, a well I'm going to do separate videos on those and we bumped in to. Darren, Sega Socks, who 
I'm, I'm totally embarrassed. We're standing there chatting and I'm looking at him and thinking, I know your face. I know that I know you. I can't put a name to your face. And it was probably written all over my face that like, yeah, I was feeling awkward or embarrassed or something, probably. Um, sorry about that, Darren. <laughs> Thoroughly nice chap. We were, we were, you know, having, actually we, we were talking mobile phones and he hates texting and I hate texting and stuff like that because he'd got this phone that's like, it's a phone, it makes phone calls and doesn't do a whole lot else, nothing, that's great. I like smartphones, but I do hate texting. And it's like I said that people who text me largely have realised it's not actually worth bothering because frequently I don't reply because I find it a pain in the ass. Um, I'm like, no, if you wanna, if you wanna have a conversation with me, phone me, and we can talk about whatever. And there's no delay, and there's no. It's like if you're trying to do something, and usually I'm doing something. I'm, I'm not one for sitting on my ass doing nothing. I'm almost always. I mean, I might, I might just be playing a video game, though. Mostly, I'm doing something more meaningful. But if I'm doing something, what I don't want to have to do is stop and pick up my phone and read a text and then tap out a response and then put it down and carry on with what I'm doing and then have to stop again. And this can go on for like half an hour. It, texts to me are interruptions. They're a series of intermittent interruptions and they're a pain in the ass and I, I just, I hate them. Whereas, phone me and you can have a conversation and it all gets done in one go and whatever it is you wanted to talk about you know there's a flow it's not a series of irritating interruptions so yeah i hate texts and uh i i suspect that's where darren's coming from with that kind of thing as well he's he's not a fan of that kind of thing and i can't speak for him and stuff but uh, i think i know where he's coming from there but it was fun, we, we stood there and had a, had a bit of a chin wag. But I am going to do, I'm not sure whether I'm going to include any footage of the market itself. I didn't record a lot. I have found this when, on the occasions where I've gone to uh, replay, and I haven't been for a few years, I spent so much time either talking to people or recording video footage that I didn't really get much time to concentrate on the event itself and so here we were at this market and I was like no I'm I'm not going to concentrate on taking video of this I'm, I'm not there to promote it though it was uh, it was organized by replay events which is cool it's good that they're sort of branching out and they do these I think there are three more of them arranged for Doncaster already and they've got them in loads of other places as well. Um, yeah, I was there to enjoy the, the market itself and maybe buy some stuff. And I did, as I said, I bought these two plug and plays. Um, which, whoa, excuse me, bit of an earthquake there. That wasn't my knee hitting the tripod at all. Um, I'm going to do some videos of these plug and plays just to... So you can see what they look like. Wow, this is getting joddery. Train of thought just crashed into the buffers. Sorry, I can't remember where I was going with all of that. Other things. I'm probably actually for my Benway's World channel going to do a video showing the, uh, the summer house that we just had installed in the garden and the story behind it and what I immense job it's been actually getting it put there and made well to have it in the condition that it's in as in kind of cool and stuff and I'll let you see it and things probably yeah want to do that other stuff I, I've got others got a got a review of the uh, this little drone thingy with the weird name that oh my god I can't remember the name of it 
Oops. Cyclist, no motorcyclist. Um, yes, going to be uh, going to possibly today actually record a whole load of gameplays of the Atari 2600 games because I have got a um, Harmony cartridge, which is like it's like a uh, EverDrive, but it's for the Atari 2600 and it's cool and it's got a hell of a lot of Atari games on it. So I'm going to do a load of those and I also want to show you this um, 500 in one. NES cartridge that I picked up really cheap from Gearbest. Um, I, I assume they still have them in stock. I mean, I get sent loads of freebies to test from Gearbest, but I do on occasion put my hand into my own pocket and spend my own money and buy things um, from them because they do have some really good stuff and I'm not being paid to say that. Uh, I just thought... 501 NES cartridge. I want some of that. And it turns out it's actually got largely the same games as they're on that little uh, NES mini clone thing that I've got. But I've got it all plugged into my NES, which uh, I replaced the 72 pin connector inside the NES because the one that was in there was pretty shot. And I did the whole uh, cut the fourth pin on the lockout ship because that was. Probably a factor in games not loading. Wow, look at the frame rate on this. I think we're getting a bit of thermal throttling going on now, perhaps. Let's see, how, how warm is the air coming out of there? I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's slowing down somewhat now. It's probably, if you've got any sense, you're not watching by now. I mean... I'm sure the, the view hasn't been that great because I've been driving at night and I don't think it's altogether picking up great because of the view I'm using. Yeah. Anyway, so that is what's coming up. I'm, I've got a feeling there's something else I wanted to record as well and I can't remember what it was. Stuff. So I think I'm going to call it a, a day there with this. Um, you know, not a whole lot else to say about the GPD Pocket that I haven't said already, except it is still going strong. I still love it. It is still expensive. <laughs> but uh, I continue to use it every day because it, it, uh, it serves. Oh, there you go. You can see it all now. It serves my purposes really well. Great for browsing, great for a bit of gaming. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> I'll end it there. There is a link below. If you're interested in buying the GPD Pocket or just want to read more about it, Links below in the, the information area thing, you know, the usual place. They sometimes move it around, YouTube being what they are. Links down there. Um, thank you for watching. So look, just subscribe to this Benway chap and we can all go home. I'll have a glass of claret and... Uh, uh, bollocks.